and welcome to quarantine yoga. So I don't know about you, but with all this extra time, I have spent more time on my phone, on my computer, I'm reading more, and all these things are causing me to do this. And I'm holding a lot more stress and tension in the shoulders. So for today's practice, we're gonna focus on doing this. So we're reversing that hunch forward posture and really tending it to the body. So when you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so when you're ready, just coming down to a comfortable cross-legged seat. And if you feel your spinal cord is slightly collapsed here, then I really encourage you to maybe sit up on a cushion or a blanket or a block, um, just so you can really lift and lengthen the spine. I'm gonna do that today as well. So, keeping the hips nice and lifted, crown of the head is reaching towards the sky. And just straight away, let's begin to tune into the breath. Tuning in to how you're feeling today. And if you haven't already, close down the eyes. And just notice if you're holding or gripping anywhere in the body relaxing down through the shoulders. Hmm. Good. Just notice the natural flow of the breath. And then all together, let's all take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale to release. Good. And when you're ready, just opening the eyes. Take a deep inhale, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the shoulders up towards the ears, straight arms. And as you breathe out, we're going to take the shoulders back and down. A couple more times like that. Inhale to lift and squeeze. Exhale to swoop. Might feel a few clicks and creeps, that's fine. Inhale to lift once more. Exhale, <sighs> side out, nice. Taking that right ear towards the right shoulder and then maybe taking the right hand to the side of the head. So we're just creating just a little bit of weight. We're not forcing anything, just a gentle bit of weight. And then just take the left arm out to the side and then you should feel this really yummy stretch in the side of the neck. Breathing deep. Good. And then on the exhale, we're going to take it straight over to the other side. So left ear to left shoulder, maybe taking the hand to the side of the head. Right arm comes out. Nice. And we have all these little tiny little muscles and tendons and ligaments in the neck and they're supporting the weight of the head. So when we're looking down, we're putting a lot more strain and pressure on the back of the neck, which can cause problems down the spine as well. Inhale to center. Good, let's just loop the shoulders up and back. Good. If you're on a uh, block or a cushion, just take that to the side. And then staying in this cross-legged seat, we're going to come into Garudasana arms. So, eagle arms, taking the arms straight out in front. And then we're going to take the right arm underneath the left. And then maybe you can begin to slowly wrap the forearms around so the palms come to touch. If this pose isn't available to you, you can take the hands to the shoulders. Otherwise, we are here. And we want to keep the elbows away from the body and slightly up. And as soon as you do that, you feel this strong internal rotation of the shoulders. It should feel really good. Breathe into this. Good. And then let's take a little flow. So as you inhale, we're going to do a gentle, gentle back bend. Lift the arms. And then exhale, begin to round through the spine. Tuck the chin into the chest. Nice, two more times. Inhale to come up. Exhale to round it through. Really nice and slow and easy. Being really mindful. 
mindful. Once more, inhale. Exhale, round. Good, and then release. Maybe give the arms a little shake. And then let's just take a little side stretch. So left palm comes down, right arm sweeps up and overhead. One breath. And then exhale straight to the other side. Right palm comes down, left palm comes up. Good. And then back to center. And then let's do Garudasana on the other side. So take the arms straight out in front. This time the left arm comes underneath the right. And then choosing your variation. So either we are here or we are here. Good. So a reminder with the elbows away from the body, slightly lifted. Inhale. Gentle back bend, lift the arms, exhale, round it through, good, so moving with the breath, maybe thinking of cat-cow here, if you're familiar with that, inhale, lift, exhale, release, good, once more, this movement is so soothing for the nervous system as well, so it's more than just physical benefits here, good, and round it through. Nice, and release, give them a little shake. And then let's come all the way forward onto all fours. So just taking your time, finding your alignment. So hands in line with the shoulders and the knees are in line with the hips, tabletop position. Let's come straight into a cat cow. So inhale to drop the belly. Exhale, round through the spine, tuck the chin into the chest. Inhale to shine the heart forward. Exhale, round it through. Good, once more, inhale. And exhale. Good, coming back to center. Taking the knees slightly behind, so taking them back a few inches, begin to melt the forearms to the earth, followed by the forehead. We're coming into puppy pose. So forehead touches the mat, and the hips are nice and high here. And then as you exhale, see if you can really feel that opening in the backs of the shoulders. Pressing into their feet, the tops of the feet. And if Ujjayi breath is in your practice, and I encourage you to tap into that now, nice deep breaths. Lovely. And then on your next inhale, slowly make your way forward into Sphinx Pose. Forearms staying on the mat. Pubic bone is engaged to the floor. And then open up through the chest for a really nice gentle back bend. And we're going to spend a few moments here. Um, and also, I don't think we realise how often we spend like looking down at our phones. So counteracting with poses like this is so, so good for the body. Good, one more breath. And then on the exhale, begin to come down, arms come behind, interlace the fingertips, straighten the arms, and then as you inhale, we're gonna lift the chest and then maybe maybe you lift up the legs as well good so good for the back we're here for five four three two one and release palms come underneath the shoulders lift up to all fours take the knees wide all together and then coming down into child's pose forehead to the mat. Easy breath in through the nose. And then exhale to soften everything. Breathe into the back, into the spine. Well done for showing up today. This practice isn't going to be too long, so 
Stick with it. And slowly begin to come on forward onto all fours. And then we're going to tuck the toes under and press into our downward facing dog. So it's our first downward dog of the practice. So take it nice and easy. Maybe giving your head a little shake, a yes, a no. Pedaling out the feet, bending the knees generously. And not forgetting to breathe. And we're going to take some ripples. And with this, I'll show you what it is first, but you can come down to the knees. So we're going to roll forward into plank pose. And then bend the knees, come back into that downward dog. So when you're doing this, you're really thinking of cat-cow here. And if you want to lower the knees, then that's absolutely fine. So you can do it from child's pose. And then come back. Otherwise, we're in downward dog. So just really with your own breath. One more, wherever you are. And then we'll come back to that downward facing dog. Slowly begin to make your way to the top of the mat, coming into a forward fold. Feet are hip width distance apart, clasping opposite elbows, swaying gently from side to side. Head is nice and heavy. Yeah. And then slowly vertebrae by vertebrae, we're going to make our way to the top of the mat. Inhale to lift the arms. Exhale, hands to heart centre. Lovely. Good. And let's take a little flow. Inhale, rise the arms up to the sky. Exhale to fold on down. Inhale, halfway lift, hands come to shins, flat back position, head down, gaze down. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands to shin. Exhale, two fold. Once more. Inhale, root to rise. Arms swing up. Exhale, forward fold. This time, interlace the fingers behind you. Bring the arms up and overhead. Gaze between the legs. Yeah, three breaths here. And just feeling really nice. Release in the backs of the shoulders. Nice. Take the palms down. Step that right foot back, followed by the left. High plank. One breath. Inhale. Exhale. Lower the knees. Come all the way down to the belly. And then taking your hands to the outside of the mat, tented fingers, we're going to inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, release. That feels so good. Couple more. Inhale, lift the chest. Press into the feet. Exhale, release. Once more. Inhale, lift maybe slightly higher this time. Exhale to soften. Good. Palms come underneath the shoulders. Push up to all fours. Tuck the toes down and facing the dog. Inhale, rise the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step it through between the hands and lower that back knee. If you need to help your foot, just guide it so it comes a little bit more in line with the hands. That's absolutely fine. Nice and easy, low lunge. Arms come up towards the sky. Exhale, you're going to take cactus arms. So arms come wide, elbows are in line with the shoulders. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cactus. Once more, inhale, lift. Exhale, cactus. Good. Placing that left palm to the ground. Going to sweep the right palm up to the sky. Nice, easy twist. Take your gaze towards your fingers. Good. And then slowly 
sweep the arm, the right arm behind you. And you might just stay here, that's absolutely fine. We're getting a really nice twist anyway. Or maybe, maybe you can begin to bend that back leg and catch the toes. And then we can take a few variations here. So maybe you take that front foot out to the side a bit more, maybe a 45 degree angle and rolling onto that outer knife of the foot. And then also we have the option to bring the fourth arm to the ground. One more breath wherever you are. Good. Releasing that back leg down, coming back to centre. Inhale, low lunge, lift the arms. Exhale, let's straighten that front leg and coming into a half split, flexing the right foot. One breath. Inhale. Exhale, rolling over the front toes, lift the arms once more. Good. Take the palms down. Step that right foot back, high plank. Take your flow, lower down, come all the way down to the belly. Squeeze the elbows into the sides. Baby cobra, inhale. Exhale. Push up to all fours or to plank, one breath. And then exhale into your downward facing dog. Good. Again, just giving the head a little shake. Pedal out the feet. And then we'll do the same again on the other side. Inhale, rise the left leg up to the sky. Exhale, step it through between the hands and lower that back knee. Good. Inhale, rise the arms. This time, let's interlace the fingers behind us and then slide the hands down the back of the leg. Gentle back bend. And then coming down, let's take that easy twist. Place the right palm into the earth. Lift the left arm up to the sky. Yeah. And then taking the left arm behind you. Maybe we just stay here. Ooh, perhaps we bend that back leg and catch the right toes. And then take your variations. So we're really feeling this nice openness in the chest. One more breath. Good. Then release that back leg, coming back to the centre, rise the arms up. And then exhale, straighten that front leg, flex the toes, one breath, inhale. Exhale, roll over the front toes, rise the arms. And then coming back down, let's take that flow. So left leg comes back, high plank, one breath. Exhale, lower down. Option to take, do what we can do, or you can take chaturanga if that's in your practice. And then we meet in downward facing dog. Good. Should, the body should be feeling nice and warm now. And then let's step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart. We're just taking a moment here. Notice the breath. Good. Okay, let's take a little balance. So just like we did earlier, we're going to take this girl that's in our arms. So the arms come straight out in front. Right arm underneath the left, and then take your variation. So either the hands to the shoulders, or we're taking the eagle arms. So again, the elbows are not hugging into the body, they're away from the midline. Slightly lifted. Good. And then begin to shift the weight into the left foot. I'll come to face you. And then peel off the right toes, and then take that knee towards the chest. So find your balance. And then as if you're sitting on a chair, we're gonna cross the right leg over the left. And then maybe you can wrap the toes around. So <laughs> we're all twisted, looking like a pretzel. And if you wobble, that's absolutely fine. And then maybe as you exhale, we'll begin to sink a little deeper. 
Sit the hips down. Good. <laughs> nice, one more breath. Good, inhale to rise and shake it out, release. Lovely. Do the same again on the other side. So take the arms out in front. This time left arm comes underneath the right. Take your eagle arms variation. And then shift the weight into the right foot. Peel off the left toes. Bring that knee to the chest. And then cross it over. And then find your balance. So you want to find this balance between sort of lifting and lengthening and then also grounding through the right foot. Full body awareness. Maybe sink a little deeper. So you find the focus point, find your breast and that can really, really help. Also engage the core. Good, one more breath. Nice, and then release, shake it out, lovely. Well done, coming to the top of the mat. Inhale, rise. One more flow, then we'll come down to the ground. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half or lift. Exhale, fold. Place both palms down, either step or jump it to plank. Take your flow, so either lowering the knees or chaturanga. Down, that's it up. Good, down with facing dog. Nice. And then lowering the knees down. Swing the legs to the side. And coming to lie on our backs. So soles of the feet to the earth. And then taking the palms down, palms face down to the mat. And just to check your alignment, if you can just tickle your heels with your fingertips. And that is correct. That's where we want to be. We're going to come into a low bridge. So once you're comfortable, we're going to inhale, lift off the hips. And then exhale, release it back down. So we're going to do that a couple of times. So inhale to scoop the tailbone up. Pressing into the hands and the feet. Exhale. Vertebrae by vertebrae, coming back down. Once more, inhale, lift. Exhale, to release. And hugging that right knee into the chest, extend that left leg out long. Let's come into a reclined twist. So coming over to the left side, right arm comes out. And the gaze is to the right. Twists are so good for the spine. This is probably one of my favorite stretches actually. And just relax that left glute. Winding down, coming to the end of the practice. Inhale, come back up to centre. This time, hug both knees into the chest. And then, keeping hold of the left knee, extend the right leg out long this time. And then take your twist over towards the right. Left arm comes out long. Really nourishing the systems. Nice, easy breaths. And then inhale back up to centre. Hug the knees into the chest. Maybe peel the nose up towards the knees. Give yourself a little squeeze. And then sending the legs out long. Coming into Shavasana. Arms come to your sides. Palms face up. And breathe. Just like we did at the beginning, just tuning into how you're feeling, tuning into the breath. And I really encourage.
encourage you to stay in Shavasana for as long as possible. Maybe pause the video or just let it carry on. Just feeling the weight of the body, feeling supported on the mat. And thank you so much for practicing with me, my first YouTube video. <laughs> and hopefully I'll see you really soon. Enjoy the rest of your day. Namaste.